What's going on today, guys? It is Tiger 24 with you again today. And today, guys, I'm actually coming forward to show you guys something that I found out yesterday about. But there's been a lot of videos been talking about this. It is basically we're talking about the new revolver that I have in my hand. It is the it is called a double action revolver. What this is, this is actually a, re a revolver from this is actually a revolver from Red Dead Redemption. And well, actually, it's going to be going out on Red Dead Redemption 2 because they're actually having some bone. Uh, there's an actually, you get some rewards and stuff from it. What you're going to end up happening is that you're going to end up getting, um, you're going to basically end up getting a picture through your phone right up here as an email. Since I don't have one, and since I did this yesterday, I'm just basically explaining to you what's going to happen. So let me get through all this crap. Sorry, I'm like I said, my first time in a while I do a video or a live stream on GTA. You'll usually get an email from some type of person, and you're going to click up on it. And what it's going to do is that when you click up on the email, it's going to give you a picture. Now, a picture is going to be something like, let me get my camera out. A, pi a picture is going to kind of be something like, Without well, how do I make a picture again? Okay, that's okay. You're kind of gonna get a little picture like that, but it's gonna be an old style type picture, like back in the the old days and stuff like that. But I don't know why they want to pull the revolver right there. But basically, that like you're gonna get a picture like that, but it's gonna be kind of like an an older picture, and basically you're gonna have to look for like certain type of logo, like. There's uh, there's 20 different locations on on the map you have to go and find from. There's this place right here, but I'm only going to show you one because this is the this was my easiest one that I did trying to find it. But what's going to be happening is that you're going to end up getting a little note on the cross or somewhere on a tombstone. Like I said, there's going to be 20 locations. You can go and look for them if you want me to put. The link in the description of another person's trying to find all 20 of them. I can if you want me to, but that's but that's up to you guys. Um, but basically, right here, where I got my gun pointed at, you'll get a letter, and the letter will basically say that uh, the treasure tore our family apart. Um, it is not here. I have moved it. You fuckers will never find it. It's it's, it's kind of like a little summer of like that. But that's basically, that's kind of it. So after you find that, you're going to end up getting three little, you're going to get three small locations on the map. There's going to be one, I'm trying to think, I think there's, I think you found one right about here. There's one over here. That's the second mark that I just put up. And then the last but not least, the other one is over. Here. Alright, and the reason why I say over those three marks that I just put on the map for you, that's three little locations after you find the letter. Now, what you have to do is you're going to have to click over on your D-pad to read the letter and then click over to exit. Then it's going to show you those three little slots that I just basically marked on the map for you. And now, after you go to all three of those locations, it's going to, the treasure chest is going to end up spawning in a random location. It spawned for me, it spawned for me over over here under the bridge it spawned for another person over I want to say over because uh, like I said it was it was not that far it was over here by the side of the road or something it was like right over here somewhere where another buddy of mine found it because I was helping him do it too so like I said it spawns in random locations now let's go over the three little slots or the three check marks that I put up here first. The three check marks that I put on the map 
the three things you're looking for, you're looking for a box that used to have the old revolt, they had the revolver in it, and that's going to be up against a tree, by the way. It's going to be up against a tree, and I'll show you that. The second one is a shovel that's got blood on it. That's right over here close to the water. It's going to be in like a really small abandoned house, kind of like an, an old abandoned house that's been broken down. You're going to see a bullet, you're going to see a shovel that's got blood on it. And last but not least, over in this little bee cave over here where I marked that last time, that little mark is somewhere in that area, that cave is going to have a dead body inside. When you find all three of those and you press over a D-pad to look at them and examine them, and after you discover them, then at that point, that's when you basically go and find the treasure chest. Now, like I said, it spawns in different locations. It spawned for me down here, but it spawned up here here somewhere up here or this guy i, I want to say about right in here or right about there but basically at the treasure chest place you're going to find two dead bodies a shovel and a box and the box is going to have the treasure chest in it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drive to all three locations so you'll know where to look for them so you don't get lost. So let's go do that right now. So let's go ahead and let's drop. Let me take it off my map. And someone just. Oh, uh, just random more stuff. Nice to know. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw to those three locations that I just mentioned, I'm gonna draw to all three of those locations for you so you can see them. So let's go to first location. So first location, if you're going to look for the revolver keys, it's gonna, it's gonna be a circle right here in this little area, like I just said, right here in this area, I'll even mark it on the map, I was wrong, it was actually about Well, I, I, where, basically where my car is at, that's where the first location is. You're going to come here, and it's going to be right up against this tree here. And right where I shoot at, that's where the box is at. That's where the old revolver box used to be at. That's your first clue. Your second clue is going to be over by the water. And let's go there next right here on the map. This is where you got to go. So you see where my second, see the car, where the car is parked at? That's the second location. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come all the way around here. And it's going to be, here's a chair. Here's the chair. And you got this. It's going to be laying about right about in this little area where I'm shooting at. It should be laying right in this area pretty close where I'm shooting at. It's going to be a shovel with blood on it. That is the second location. Now let's go to the third location. This is location number three. And whenever you get here, you're going to see a dead body laying straight in front of you where I'm shooting at right now. You're going to see a dead body straight in front of you. Just walk up to it, press over on the D-pad, and that's your final discovery to getting the revolver. And then now I'm going to show you where I got the revolver at, and I'm going to explain to you what I'm talking about when we get there. Now the fun part is, is trying to climb out of here. Like I said, it's three simple little steps, and I'm trying to make it as easy. See... In this little area right here where I'm standing at, I don't know how it's placed, but I think there's one body there, another body there, a shovel, and a chest. So I'll shoot it again for you so you can see it. I think there should be there should be two bodies, a shovel, two two bodies, a shovel, and a box. It's basically a chest. So let's shoot at it again. So there should be a bunny, I say right about there, a bunny about right about here. Let me reload again. Double, and then there should be a box right about there. 
when you get to this area right here, this is basically your final stop of getting the revolver. That is, that is three simple little steps of how to get the double action revolver. Now, after you get the revolver, there will be a message that will pop up for you at the top of the screen that says that if you can get 50, you have to get 50 headshots with it. And that's another bonus reward. And I'll probably show you guys another video on that probably on another day. But for right now, let's go in and end this video on a good note. Like I said, this is basically called GTA Treasure Hunt. GTA 5 Treasure Hunt. If you want to know how to get them there, I'm like I said, I will put all of the details in the description below, like all the steps and stuff, but I'm all in the description below. It will make it easier and more fun for you to get it done. And that's basically it, guys. So hope you guys have a great afternoon. My name is Tiger24. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. And I will catch you guys in the afterlife. Peace out.